Are you right now at the verge of giving up on life? Do you battle condemnation and feel inadequate? Is there a part of you that doubts whether God truly loves you? Would you like to better comprehend God's love for you? Life is full of uncertainties, but in God, there is an assurance of a beautiful future. Be inspired as you receive God's word that will stir up faith and confidence in the love that God has for you. Join us today on The Covenant Light. God of creation There at the start Before the beginning of time With no point of reference You spoke to the dark And fleshed out the wonder of life And as you speak A hundred billion galaxies are born In the vapor of your breath the planets form And if the stars were made to worship so alive I can see your heart in it Every burning star signifies grace. And if creation sings your praises, so will I. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus Christ. Oh, Mantala Bayihiraba. Welcome to the coming and light again this week. I say good morning to all of us. This is another week, another glorious, great week of God's mercy and faithfulness. What a week this is. So wherever you are this morning, can you just join me and let's bless the name of the Lord together for a beautiful week, for a beautiful day. Glory to Jesus Christ. He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our honor. Just go ahead and thank him right now. Give him praise with this song. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate Jesus together as we pray in the spirit. Just go ahead. 
Mandigi hili bandigi li bala la bandi ili basha driedo. Meli barra bala la mandigi gili badu barra bala la mandigi li boshandia. Lege gili bro kono veli barra bala la mandigi gado sonde gile bayadi. Oh, lege di bro bala la mandigi gili bala la bagodo boshandri adiza. Mende geli barra gadi eli borro konto veli ba dehere kata jala badia. Mende geli borsha tala bahi. Thank you, Lord. Give him praise. Kala ba shanta bara bala la bolo lo konta rabadia. Nele ba shandri hide kosa la badia. Zande keli mande fr bale mande geri boshande galabaya. Yes, hala boshada rabala la baganaya. Ne geta la bala boro koto li bande gege dehere vana manta galabaya. E rakati eli mando ro bala la bande gele bara bala la boko sondri adia. Just go ahead and give him praise. Give him praise. It's another week. It's another great day. Glory to Jesus. Let men everywhere lift up holy hands, praising and blessing the Lord. Hallelujah. If nature will praise him, so will I. Hallelujah. So will I praise him. Lay barra bala bakona sandari bayade. Hey, radu sande mala bala la baka zarabaye. Mega bele burra bande ge di vacati ili mangro i janta la bata. Lega di burra bale bande ge di vrokoto zabri ande ge ge de bashandre yadu. Jege duva la mande. Yes, yes, father. Kata la bashada rabaya. Gena malabho zakarabata ila gana rabaya. So will high glory to Jesus Christ. Just thank Him this morning. Exalt His name, Father. We give You praise. Male go tala bandri hiri basha. I come before the throne of grace this morning, Lord. I obtain mercy. I find grace to help in time of need. I obtained mercy this week. Yes, Father. Somebody obtained God's mercy. Lega durba shalaba. I take mercy this week. Rabali mande viele kanti ele bong do zarabadia. Rabala le bayane meto zogo. I find grace, Lord, for this week. In the name of Jesus, I give you praise, Lord. Thank you, Father, for I stand only on the premise of the gift of righteousness. Lord, bara de ili mando gubrak divali mante gegasan radosa. Glory to your name, Jesus. Glory to your name, Father. Bali batu zegri ine monda vakali mande de hila koza brabala mandre ika toza la banda talabaya. Glory to your name forever. We worship you, Lord. I honor you. Be thou exalted. Be thou glorified. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. So right now we are going to go ahead and begin to pray for all men and for those in authority. It's our responsibility. Hallelujah. To see to it that our world is saved. Hallelujah, I meet this world and the entire world is saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. Hallelujah. So say this with me, say, Father, your word says that first of all, prayer should be made for all people and for those who are in authority, that they may come to salvation and to the knowledge of the truth. I therefore pray for the leaders and the people of my nation, Nigeria, that they be saved and come into the knowledge of the truth in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, I pray specifically for everyone on my salvation list, that they come to salvation. Mention their names right now and begin to pray for them. Say, precious Holy Spirit, according to your word in Psalm 2 verse 8, I ask 
for these ones as an inheritance. And I thank you, Jesus, for they come in contact with people that they will listen to and come into this knowledge of this truth. Precious Holy Spirit, help me to pray this as I ought, as I yield myself to you completely. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can we go ahead and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost? Let's begin to pray in the Spirit right now for the salvation of the souls of all men in our world. Glory to God. I mention their names as we begin to pray. Let's go ahead and pray. Malego Sobriana, Valega Bargone, Malega do Zandri, Egeli Balak Handri Eduze, Vinanale do Kitejan, Okobra, Ecole Vagalemande, Zunge Geburro Cotulimande, Gegila Katagalamande, Zonde Vilia Kali Mundru Ide Bela La Banga do Zedovra. Ragaliba digina hante, le droku veyeni mele le dijeni va kadzuza brahande, zoba la la bandri egi ele manduro bala la bala la ba, jagonu vege ele bra bala mande grihet ala badojan raya deza, lege geni mende brodo sonde vali gadoja la banga deya doza, jande gedi veve kale mando gogoza la brahande, zaganindri ekuda bala mando golu vali band. Edible la bandri, lega do sande biele le 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 jande gona vacatoria, lega dure bali mande gadiga dika ne facal le ne ne jandro doso, le burra ke di ba le mande veve gone mele le dei ne na shangro doso, zonde geni fali barakati eli mandro godoza la badia, lenga goes every ano mele le le jibele le mondri, lenda deri fa ne ne na teishan teratia shandratia shandrahideja. Long to ta irriga diva la galamandri goza, mele baroco duvili mele beti ende gosa radia, laga ganev roco to zeli bayane, zagudi elimando gozubri ene gadivra gotob la mandria deja, a gato zene vivige de pronacati ela ganga daje de bojan radia, in every nation, mande galabaya, in every nook and cranny of my nation, Nigeria, hallelujah, in my world, my family, my, my. My extended family members, Libroko Tozalaba, my in laws, Reka Nofa Toza, I declare their salvation. I declare they come into the knowledge of the truth and they come here by any Vigadubarahanga Laban Riadoza, Getia Leman Riadoza, Metole Balenga Diga, one after the other, Makosa de Geliman Riadoza, they are getting saved in the name of Jesus Christ. Let Toto Zandabara, but they are vested this week. Into the kingdom, Malogo Zogotosa Katalabande, Levana Nalo Logonde. Thank you, Lord. Braide Velimande Gurie Dobari Gono Gotu Zeliata, Joko Nuve Vegeni Mango Gozuliba, Ragalima Nemele Letos of Rabande Gedusa Kalabaya. Yes, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. So right now we are going to be praying for ourselves and for those who serve as a leader in our local assemblies and along with our families. Praise God. We are going to be praying these powerful three prayer points we normally pray every day. Hallelujah. First of all, we are going to be declaring um, oldness, nothing missing, nothing broken, nothing lacking in our lives. And then we are going to be declaring the zeal of God's house to consume us. And then we are going to be declaring the will of God to be done in our lives. Say this with me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the authority I have in Christ Jesus. For as he is, so am I in this world. By this authority, in the name of Jesus Christ, I demand that we experience the manifestation of peace and oldness in our lives. Let nothing be missing, broken, or lacking in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare today that we are consumed with passion for the mission of Jesus on this earth. Let the zeal for the house of God and his kingdom consume us like it did Jesus. I demand that the purpose of God for myself and every member of my family 
and everyone I serve as a leader in my local assembly be fulfilled in Jesus' name. Let the plans of God for our lives be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. And I demand that anything that needs to be removed is removed in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, precious Father. Can we go ahead and begin to pray in the spirit concerning these three things? Just go ahead and declare. Nothing is permitted to be missing or broken or lacking in your life. Hallelujah. Declare that the will of God is done and that you are consumed with passion, consumed with zeal for the house of God. Let's go ahead and pray in the Holy Ghost concerning these three things. Bande, lega di fron mangale le lune na zangra do zalabade, le droki in him hele bagre do sha, me logo zunda bri e de vala bala mandri e doke ele mandri, lega duva y monka teja na for guli mande, zoko no munde gadika taga de ganeka de calavan rodozo, leng rodoze bala banga diva la boze gri e de alala, landra kuba na neve vileka te ila gana goza briane, zonde. Vegele bo robande gegele bala la bako na mandri lo de jeye de vele bandri e de kana mola lo jebre ya de anta la bako zumbri a kanevali lega ne mandovri e in mali a dua zegle mandri e gadibra inosa govali bo robande gadiki ela ganaku zabre dia vele mandri e gele bala mande biruke de zuki ele mandri da. Lega ni mandi vede dene zandri in the klene e jana bala gona gode gatia. Lega gedu veli manga duze ne mele lele balo gonogo zugriade. Le du je enam guandi vaku de se i bataga de gaya. Le gosundevri kle indro ile biele mandri e doze ki ili mandru kudu salabadea. Thank you, precious Father. We give you glory, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Right now we are going to be declaring and praying right now hallelujah concerning our theme for the year we are going to be praying concerning the thoughts of the lord over our lives this year hallelujah i'll just lead us in a very brief confession and then we'll go ahead and pray glory to jesus christ say this with me say father in the name of jesus christ you have announced that this is our year of supernatural placement by enlargement and promotion I believe so I am established, and I believe your prophets, so I prosper according to your word. I therefore confidently declare concerning myself and everyone I serve as a leader in my local assembly, along with our families, based on the prophetic scripture given to us in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that this year is indeed our year of promotion. This year is indeed a year of enlargement. This year indeed is a year of promotion in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, help me pray this as I ought, as I yield myself to your Spirit. I receive the enlargement. I receive the promotion. I receive and I take my place in the name of Jesus Christ. I stand on your word today, all the prophecy scriptures, and I declare their manifestation in my life and in the lives of everyone I serve as a leader. In the name of Jesus. Let's go ahead and begin to pray in the spirit right now concerning these things. Declare hallelujah. Male gadu zabriane. Vali broko tuli balali mande gegele barangalu jandri irosa. Mele dodo sandri edi. Vakubale mande gegele brono koto zabriane. Lega de brodo koto zabriene vala bara bala la banda de la bojane. Azagu vaye bele nana kli endra ira sandali. Le feyene na. Rotsu zeke le bana gri e de blanon ze gavrande le gri e de ve ele manto godogu zagriade me li bale bakane e kozadi bala manri le gaduza ne feli tata do jangradoza le gane monde gri e de kalamande gele bora kate e le mande gele bondri e doza gadu ve venele de jangradoze i velina zune e ne jugane vako le bandri e deja meko de beli handri e konavi 
leko na griadozo lo du jendri ka dibla te en de kovri angle lo jarabayeda elega gane mar gone me le veyadoza gade le tona jende vriadela alega dindre enafike el de mangro ba ile bata tataja go ahead and pray and receive in the name of Jesus Christ promotion hallelujah yes hallelujah amazing testimonies receive your enlargement hallelujah oh and come into your place in the name of Jesus Christ thank you father bakune meliba gri enem lavandro diso let o zeki erveke alamande zakeli anege gude baramonde junga di busanga dufa kahandri molo lubati egane malale bangri dozo elem vrekatali brakli ene na bola bako ene no jeedi vabatana in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah say amen so right now we are going to be praying concerning ourselves we are going to pray for yourself right now that time has come for you to begin to lay before the lord the bible says casting all your cares on him because a care for us hallelujah what is god showing you what is god saying to you what is god dealing with you on right now i want you to just go ahead and table it before the lord and begin to pray about it what vision is it showing you hallelujah or what request do you have of him this is a new week do you have specific things you want to see happen this week do you have specific miracles do you see have the specific desires hallelujah what is before you this week you are going to bring it before the lord and you are going to pray for yourself praise jesus christ hallelujah spend the next few minutes just praying for you keep blessing you and receive from the lord go ahead and pray in the name of jesus Bala mandri eko na vya le ba doza ra deza ena na shande galiva galabandri e goza la bandri le tu bre enga nu fantali bradiaza e gati de shande vroga doza le bare mande e zaki eli mande be yela gane malala bandri e de gela mandro me le boro gane ve le bara malala bala la gana gruere zana vradi ha zako de jeli mandri me le bro ko doza ne me yela le gane bro i de gane ve ge halaboza and now Susan if he element of God does a radiza and now lotion if a key element of God does a limande garabuza a go son the men a venena zuneco labano go to go so god they are a lena day every a clean on us under clibra in a villa lotion radiza meluna the shandri meli balele gane elaga gadej in a mele lotion every a call a mandri logo zubri a bieli mande de kedi canav gol a mandri logo zubri Upliftment on every side in the name of Jesus Christ. Upliftment on every side in the name of Jesus Christ. I see God lifting heads. I see God lifting people. He is the lifter of earth. God is lifting you this week. God is lifting you this month. God is lifting you today. My Lord is shamed the beer about take a man to your doors. A leg a deep rabbal a man de go go send the veil the bandry a door sick a man to your door. A lack of silly man to a ban no God a good day shall a ban to your doors a galabaya. A glory to God. My live a co send the bill a can a grow is all a ban to your day. Devon the beer the man to co sell a ban to your a can a man Psalm 71 verse 21. Hallelujah. The Bible says, in an onshagalama. I believe this is for someone. The scripture says in Psalm 71 verse 21, it said, Thou will increase my greatness and you will comfort me on every side. Thou will increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. 
I see God increasing people's greatness this season. I see Mantagalabandri Yedo Salabaya. God is increasing your greatness. Say amen. And God is comforting you on every side. Where finances is okay. Hallelujah. Health is well. Marriage is well. Relationship is excellent. Hallelujah. Spiritual growth is doing so well. Comfort on every side. Glory to God. This week, there is comfort on every side. In the name of Jesus Christ, there is comfort on every side. Your greatness is increased in the name of Jesus Christ. There is an increase in your greatness. There is an increase in your prosperity. There is an increase in your health. There is an increase in the favor of God over your life. In a Come and receive that and declare it. My greatness is increased and I am comforted on every side. Say that one more time. My greatness is increased. Glory to God. And I'm comforted on every side. In the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to Jesus Christ. What an anointing of the Spirit of God. Oh, glory to God. Give him praise now. Thank him. Thank him for these declarations. Thank him for this prayer, Caesar. Glory to your name forevermore. In Jesus' precious and mighty name, we have prayed. And the people said, Amen. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. It's time to make confession of God's word. It's time to declare God's word concerning different aspects and areas of our lives. Praise Jesus. Are you ready? Remember where the word of a king is, there is power and life and death are in the power of the tongue. Praise Jesus. Let's make this declaration by faith. Say this with me. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Therefore, sin has no power over me. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death. I am, hallelujah, glory to Jesus Christ, has set me free from the power of sin and death. Hallelujah, glory to Jesus Christ. Say this with me, Male Bandari Abaya. I am risen with Christ. So I speak only those things that are above where Christ is. I give my mind to the things that are above and not the things that are on the earth. For I have died and my life is hidden with Christ in God. I have put to death my earthward inclinations and my old man. The sin prone personality with all its tendencies and desires. Hallelujah. And their desires. Praise God. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Say this with me. By reason of God's love that abides in me, I endure long, and I am patient and kind. I am never envious, nor boiled over with jealousy. Glory to God. I am not boastful or vainglorious, and I do not display myself utterly. I am not conceited, arrogant, and inflated with pride. I am not rude or unmannerly. And I do not act unbecomingly. I do not insist on my own rights or my own way. For I am not self-seeking. I am not touchy or fretful or resentful. I take no account of evil done to me. I pay no attention to a suffered wrong. I do not rejoice at injustice and unrighteousness. But I rejoice when right and truth prevail. I bear up under anything and everything that comes. I am ever ready to believe the best of every person. My hopes are faithless under all circumstances, and I endure everything without weakening. 
The love of God in me never fails, never fades out, never becomes obsolete, nor come to an end. Glory to Jesus. Say this with me. My family serve God together with me. I claim them for the gospel. My father, my mother, my brothers, my sisters, my in-laws, and my children are serving God in righteousness and truth and fulfilling his plan concerning them individually. My house stands. My family members are not overthrown by evil because I'm in common with Jehovah. I thought so I and my whole family live in joy and exceeding gladness. God's covenant with me covers all my family members, just as Rahab's family were partakers with her of the covenant she made with the spies and came under the protection promised her in the covenant. So also, my family members are partakers with me of my covenant with Jehovah, for God is not a respecter of persons. They walk in every blessing of the covenant. They are under the covenant. They are under the blood of the covenant, and no arm can come to them. My family and I have more than enough of all good things with desire, such that we are able to give to others. See, my life has been redeemed from destruction, from the ditch, from decay, and from an abrupt end. Therefore, I and my household do not experience these things in any way. I cannot die the death of the wicked, but rather I live to declare the works of God. I dwell in God's secret hiding place, under the covering of the Most Mighty. God is my place for shelter and protection against danger, strengthened against every attack. Surely, it delivers me from every trap and protects me from every infectious disease and every plague. Can we take that again? It delivers me from every trap and protects me from every infectious disease and every plague. He covers me with his feathers and under his wings I trust. His word is my shield and buckler. I shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrows that fly by day, nor shall I be afraid of the plagues of darkness, destruction, corruption, decay, and sudden death that surprise and lay wait in the day. Though a thousand fall at my side, though ten thousand are dying around me, the evil will not touch me. Hallelujah. Say this with me. There shall be no evil befall me. Neither shall any plague come near my dwelling. God's angels have been mobilized concerning me to keep me in all my ways. I confess that they are effective and they bear me up lest I dash my feet against a stone. Hallelujah. Even if I miss a lion or step on poisonous snakes and even trample them beneath my feet because I am loved by God. He will always rescue me. He will always bring me into new levels of greatness because I trust in his name. He delivers me and honors me. He satisfies me with long life and show me his salvation. Praise God. Let's declare concerning the blessing. Praise Jesus Christ. Say, so because of my covenant with Jehovah, I am set on high above all the nations of the earth. I am empowered to prosper. And I prosper everywhere I am. My offsprings are empowered to prosper, and they prosper. My possessions are empowered to prosper, and are prospering. Everything I have is empowered to reproduce after its kind and is multiplied, so that I experience abundance. My expense accounts, savings, and investments are overflowing with abundance. I am blessed at all times. The Lord, my covenant partner, causes my enemies that rise up against me to be smitten before my face. If they come against me in one way, they are scattered in many ways. Glory to Jesus Christ. I am empowered to prosper, and I prosper in everything I do. I am blessed in this land. 
Jehovah God is establishing me unto himself as holy. I am plenteous in goods. God opens to me his good treasure, even the heavens, to give the rain unto my land in its season. I lend to many nations. I shall not borrow. I have been made the head and not the tail. Hence, I shall always and everywhere be above only. Ministering spirits are working on my behalf, bringing me money and materials from far and near. I am enforcing my covenant with Jehovah Jireh, with Jehovah Shalom, and with Jehovah Gomola, the Lord, my compensation and restorer. I have abundance. I have the minimum monthly income that I have set this month in the name of Jesus. And angels go forth to gather for me and men give to me. My net worth is ever increasing at such a rate that can only be attributed to God's working and not mine. I can never lack. My book days are over forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let's join Pastor right now for a time of the word. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise Jesus. So right now we're going to go into the word. And our text today is Mark chapter 7. Mark chapter 7, everyone. Mark chapter 7. Jesus teaches about inner purity. One day, some Pharisees and teachers of religious law arrived from Jerusalem to seek Jesus. They noticed that some of his disciples failed to follow the Jewish ritual of hand washing before eating. The Jews, especially the Pharisees, do not eat until they have poured water over their cupped hands as required by their ancient traditions. Similarly, they don't eat anything from the market until they immerse their hands in water. This is but one of many traditions they have clung to, such as their ceremonial washing of cups, pitchers, and kettles. So the Pharisees and teachers of religious law asked him, Why don't your disciples follow our age-old tradition? They eat without first performing the hand-washing ceremony. Jesus replied, You hypocrites! Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you. For he wrote, These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Their worship is a farce. They teach man-made ideas as commands from God. For you ignore God's law and substitute your own tradition. Then he said, you skillfully sidestep God's law in order to hold on to your own tradition. For instance, Moses gave you this law from God. Honor your father and mother. And anyone who speaks disrespectfully of father or mother must be put to death. But you say it is all right for people to say to their parents, sorry, I can't help you. For I vowed to give to God what I would have given to you. In this way, you let them disregard their needy parents. And so you cancel the word of God in order to hand down your own tradition. And this is only one example among many others. Then Jesus called to the crowd to come and hear. All of you listen, he said, and try to understand. It's not what goes into your body that defiles you. You are defiled by what comes from your heart. Then Jesus went into a house to get away from the crowd, and his disciples asked him what he meant by the parable he had just used. Don't you understand either? He asked. Can't you see that the food you put into your body cannot defile you? Food doesn't go into your heart, but only passes through the stomach and then goes into the sore. By saying this, he declared that every kind of food is acceptable in God's eyes. And then he added, It is what comes from inside that defiles you. For from within, out of a person's heart, come evil thoughts, sexual morality, theft, murder, adultery, greed, wickedness, deceit, lustful desires, envy, slander, pride, and foolishness. All these vile things come from within. They are what defile you. The faith of a Gentile woman. Then Jesus left Galilee and went north to the region of Tyre. He didn't want anyone to know which house he was staying in, but he couldn't keep it a secret. 
Right away, a woman who had heard about him came and fell at his feet. Her little girl was possessed by an evil spirit, and she begged him to cast out the demon from her daughter. Since she was a Gentile, born in Syrian Phoenicia, Jesus told her, First, I should feed the children, my own family, the Jews. It isn't right to take food from the children and throw it to the dogs. She replied, It's true, Lord, but even the dogs under the table are allowed to eat the scraps from the children's plates. Good answer, he said. Now go home, for the demon has left your daughter. And when she arrived home, she found her little girl lying quietly in bed, and the demon was gone. Jesus heals a deaf man. Jesus left Tyre and went up to Sidon before going back to the Sea of Galilee in the region of the Ten Towns. A deaf man with a speech impediment was brought to him, and the people begged Jesus to lay his hands on the man to heal him. Jesus led him away from the crowd so they could be alone. He put his fingers in the man's ears. Then, spitting on his own fingers, he touched the man's tongue. Looking up to heaven, he sighed and said, Ephatha, which means, Be open. Instantly, the man could hear perfectly, and his tongue was freed so he could speak plainly. Jesus told the crowd not to tell anyone, but the more he told them not to, the more they spread the news. They were completely amazed and said again and again, Everything he does is wonderful. He even makes the deaf to hear and gives speech to those who cannot speak. Hallelujah. Father, we ask you for revelation knowledge to dawn upon our hearts as we look into your word in Jesus' mighty and precious name. And everyone said, Amen. We're going to dig into the word now. I'm reading the New King James Version, the same chapter we read. Then the Pharisees and some of the scribes came together to him, having come from Jerusalem. Now, when they saw some of his disciples eat bread with defiled um, hands eat bread with defiled, that is with unwashed hands, they found fault. For the Pharisees and the Jews do not eat unless they wash their hands in a special way, holding the tradition of the elders. When they come from the marketplace, they do not eat unless they wash. And there are many other things which they have received and hold, like the washing of cups, pitchers, copper vessels, and couches. Then the Pharisees and the scribes asked him, Why do your disciples not walk according to the tradition of the elders, but eat bread with unwashed hands? He answered and said to them, Well did Isaiah prophesy of you hypocrites, as it is written, These people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. And in vain they worship me, teaching as commandments, as doctrines, the commandments of men. For laying aside the commandment of God, you hold the tradition of men, the washing of pitchers and cups, and many other such things you do. This is still done in the um, uh, Middle East today. Uh, the Jews uh, and primarily the, the Arabs. Um, so you see that washing of the hand, washing of... So there is a, a sense in which they see the physical cleansing of the body as a spiritual cleansing. That is not scriptural. All right. Um, as we can, as we will see, as we go on, what defiles is not what goes into the body, but what comes out of the body. All right, verse nine. And he said to them, "All too well, you reject the commandment of God that you may keep your tradition." Now, here is one of the places where I want to bring out a point. Something I teach very regularly. If you've been listening to me, verse ten. For Moses said, "Honor your father and your mother." And he who curses father or mother, let him be put to death. But you say, if a man says to his father or mother, whatever profit you might have received from me is korban, that is, a gift to God, then you no longer let him do anything for his father or his mother. Making the word of God of no effect through your tradition, which you have handed down, and many such things you do. All right, so... I want to bring out the fact that Jesus, in the New Covenant, Paul also makes the same reference in Ephesians. When he said, honor your father and your mother is the first commandment with a promise. 
children obey your parents in the Lord. Um, for it's the first commandment with a promise. This verse of scripture says, whatever profit, verse 11, you might have received from me. So your parents are to receive profit. That word profit actually means profit. It's ophilio, um, to benefit, advantage, prevail, profit. It's, the word means to have excess, to you put in two, but you got 10. You put in five, but you got 50. Well, your parents are meant to get more out of you than they put into you. Meant to get more out of you than they put into you. Your natural parents are meant to get more out of you than they put into you. Your spiritual parents are meant to. So learn to honor your father and your mother. Every one of you listening to me, I will encourage you to prayerfully consider how much you want to be sending to your parents. And tell God that before they die, before they leave this world, you want to give to them more than they have given you. And ask God to multiply you. And I'm going to speak right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak over everyone under the sound of my voice. And I announce in Jesus' name that God is bringing you into a place of multiplication and increase. That you are much more a blessing to your parents than they were to you, that they profit from you, that they get more out of you than you got from them in the name of Jesus. And everybody who believes that, say amen. Hallelujah. Verse 14. Now notice also verse 13 that the word of God can be made of no effect because of tradition. We've always said that the word of God is the most powerful thing on planet earth. It's, it's, it's powerful at least. We say it's powerful. All right. But we realize now that there is something that is the, that does, that causes the word of God or that keeps it from being effective, from, from, that makes it look like non, n- nothing. And those are the traditions of men. And whenever you see traditions, you see that pattern where the word of God is not of no effect. Even in praying for the sick, we have certain traditions. I remember Kanegin told the story about how God dealt with him about certain traditions. And now, as I began to you know, learn about praying for the sick, I realized that we have certain traditions. You have to lay your hands close to where the sickness is. That person has to have faith. And when you look at the Bible, you find out that there were people Jesus healed that didn't have faith. Somebody has to have faith. So it could be the person who is praying for the sick. It could be the person being prayed for. It could be somebody connected to the person being prayed for. Like the, 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 the people who brought their friend to be healed by Jesus. Somebody has to have faith. All right? But it's not always necessary that that person you're praying for has to have faith. Otherwise, you'll never be able to cast out devils. Because the person possessed by a devil, believe me, is not confessing, I am free from demonic entities. You know? And so some of those traditions have kept us from truly, truly um, ministering and making the word of God effective. Verse 14. And when he had called all the multitude to himself, he said to them, Hear me, everyone, and understand. There is nothing that enters a man from outside which can defile him. Please hear that. Nothing. Nothing. Because some people still hold on to some of these things. Some people say, we are this group of people. We don't be pigs, uh, pork, you know, defiles. Oh, we are this and this, this defiles. Nothing that enters into a man defiles that man. Because it does not enter his heart, but his stomach. And is eliminated. First, purifying all food. I like the way the New Living Translation said it. It says, By saying this, he declared that every kind of food is acceptable in God's eyes. All right. So, no more all this, um, oh, so and so food is not that there are food that are better for you, for your body, than others. But the idea of food defiling your body, Jesus countered it right here and put a permanent no on it. There is no food that defiles your body. It goes into the stomach. And he said, verse 20, what comes out of a man that defiles him? For from within, out of the heart. Okay, we're actually at verse 16. 
If anyone has ears to hear, let him hear. Verse 17. When he had entered a house away from the crowd, disciples asked him concerning the parable. So he said to them, Are you thus without understanding also? Do you not believe, perceive that whatever enters a man from outside cannot defile him? Because it does not enter his heart but his stomach and is eliminated. Thus purifying all fruits, verse 20. And he said, What comes out of a man, that defiles a man. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lewdness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these things come from within and defile a man. Now, these things can now cause a man to eat food excessively. Gluttony is a sin because it is not the food that you ate defiling you, but rather it is that one of these things mentioned here, okay? Uh, uh, evil thoughts, adulteries, fornication, murder, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lewdness, and even like blasphemy, pride, pride, foolishness. So the, the an act can be sinful. The food is not sin. Is if I steal food, the stealing is, is sinful. The food is not sinful. All right, I'm sure you get that. All these evil things come from within and defile a man. Now, let's talk about two uh, very powerful miracles that happened here, and then we close. Verse 24. And from there he ro- arose and went to the region of Tyre and Sidon, and he entered a house and wanted no one to know it, but he could not be hidden. For a woman, in the name of Jesus... You cannot be hidden. In the name of Jesus, I just had that in my spirit. You cannot be hidden. Jesus could not be hidden. You cannot be hidden. Nobody can cover your destiny. Nobody can hide you away. Your destiny will blossom and shine. It is blossoming and shining. And many are coming to your light and to the brightness of your rising. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, I rise and shine for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you, for darkness shall cover the earth and God's gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon you, and his glory shall be seen. I said, Gentiles shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your rising. I prophesy that right now. Gentiles are coming to your light. People are coming to your light, and kings are coming. Nobles are coming. The, 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 the great are coming. The princes are coming to the brightness of your rising in the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. Verse 25. For a woman whose young daughter had an unclean spirit heard about him, and she came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by birth, and she kept asking him to cast the demon out of her daughter. But Jesus said to her, let the children be filled first, for it is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. And she answered and said to him, Yes, Lord, yet even the little dogs under the table eat from the children's crumbs. And he said to her, For this saying, go your way. For this saying. So she got the miracle because of what she said. Now, what she said came from a mindset, came from a, a belief. So that belief is what brought about her miracle. And what was it she believed? What she said was because of what she believed. What she believed was why she got a miracle. Jesus said, for this saying, go your way. The demon has gone out of your daughter. What was it that she said? She said, even the dogs, little dogs under the table, eat from the children's crumbs. She tapped into grace. You see, the non-Jews had no covenant with God. Bible talks about those of us who were not Jews originally. He said we were without Christ and without, uh, 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 without God, far from the covenants of promise, strangers from the covenants of promise. That's the state of this woman. She was a stranger from the covenants of promise. But before Jesus died, you and I tap into grace because Jesus died on the cross. Before Jesus died, this woman tapped into grace. And she tapped into grace because... Jesus said, called her and everyone who is not a, a, a Jew, a little dog. Not in a derogatory sense, but he was given a parable. He was given a, a proverb. 
You don't take the children's bread and give to dogs. Let the children eat first. The dogs will come later. And when I go to the cross, the whole world will become children of God. All right. But right now, the people that have a covenant that I can actually minister to. Remember when he was sending the, the, his uh, disciples out, the Bible said he told them to go to not go to any other place, but to the, ha- to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So they were to reach out to Israel. Why? Those ones already had a covenant and he could walk with that covenant. All right. He could walk within that covenant. But this man didn't have a covenant. But what gave her this miracle? I want to bring out something here. She said, yes, Lord. Yet even the little dogs under the table eat from the children's crumbs. This woman put her faith in grace. I am not entitled to it. I do not qualify for it. But I used to think that this woman had faith in crumbs. That even something as tiny as crumbs is enough. No, that was not where her faith was. Her faith was that she accepted that she was undeserving of it. Can you see that? She immediately said, I'm undeserving. I'm not, I'm not arguing with you about being a child. I'm not ag- ag- arguing with you about qualifying. I'm not arguing with you about being qualified for what I'm asking for. Every time you come on the premise of grace, you move the heart of God. Because God is a gracious God. And so giving on the premise of grace is, is so dis, de, delightful to him. And that's why he resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. He resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. Oftentimes God will set us up in, uh, with opportunities to humble ourselves and, 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 and so that we can experience grace. This lady said, yes, I'm a dog, but dogs can also eat. <laughs> Dogs don't have to wait until the children are finished eating. They can eat crumbs. Dogs can eat crumbs. But the acceptance and saying, listen, I am not coming to you as a child. I'm not coming to you as I have qualified for something. I'm coming as one who is unqualified. But that one which falls, boy, Jesus looked at her and said, go. You have tapped into a dispensation that is before to, before now. You've tapped into a dispensation in the future. That is to start after I have died. But you can receive it now on credit. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I'm wondering. You know the, the Bible is full of people who tapped into dispensations before their time. You know. People who received a dispensation before their time. You know. El, el, uh, 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 Enoch was not for God took him (laughs) God took him nobody went before then to to heaven that didn't die first but he was not God just said you know what come I want you to experience a dispensation what's going to happen to my children when they face the rapture and all that come you know the details of it we may not know but he didn't die he experienced the dispensation grace will make make things happen that should not be happening all because you need to you have to receive grace has to be responded to grace has to always be responded to when you come on the premise of grace you have to get a response and that's what she did when she had come to her house she found the demon gone out and her daughter lying on the bed verse 31 again departing from the region of Tyre and Sidon he came through the midst of the region of Decapolis to the sea of Galilee then they brought to him one who was deaf and had an impediment in his speech and they begged him to put his hand on him. And he took him aside. I like the fact that they just assumed putting his hand on him was healing the man. That was how, that was how amazing the healing grace on Jesus is. Putting his hand on him was healing him. They begged him, just put your hand. If you don't, don't do anything, just put your hand. They will carry him and go in. Somewhere between you putting your hand and we're carrying him, he'll be okay. He took him aside from the multitude and put his finger in his ears and his part and touched his tongue. Then looking up to heaven, he sighed and said to him, Ephata, that is, be opened. He sighed. He sighed. All right. Um, Some scholars believe that that was, you know, a groaning in the spirit. Um, There have been a few times the Bible talks about Jesus groaning in the spirit before 
and he called out Lazarus. Uh, and when he was going to pray about Lazarus, he said, Father, I thank you because you have heard me. And the Bible says he groaned. Groaned. All right, then looking up to heaven, he sighed and said to him, Ephata, that is, be opened. Immediately his ears were opened and the impediment of his tongue was loosed and he spoke plainly. Then he commanded them that they should tell no one. But the more he commanded them, the more widely they proclaimed it. And they were astonished because, beyond measure, saying, He has done all things well. He makes both the deaf to hear and the mute to speak. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We ask that you will help us live out the truth of your word in Jesus' mighty and precious name. Amen and amen and amen. Glory to God. Thank you so much for joining in today. I look forward to have you join me again tomorrow. Till then, remember, you are tremendously loved by God. You are unconditionally loved by Him. And because of that love, you will experience His wisdom, His power, and His favor as you keep living in the consciousness of the love that God has for you. And remember, I love you, and I'm glad to be on mission with you. Do have a wonderful day today. Stay in grace. Be, be, base your life on grace. Be based on grace. Approach on the premise of grace. You will always have an answer. Hallelujah.